I'm Darren Hulse, I'm the uh, Vice President of Commercial Marketing for Boeing. Right now the 7779 is uh, in its test program and we've had about 3,000 flight hours on, on the 777 program. Um, that's the first airplane, obviously the first uh, airplane to enter service. The entry into service for the 777X will be in mid-2025. Um, and then to follow that by about two years will be the 7788 freighter, which enters service in 2027. Obviously, you, you've seen the news, Air, uh, Emirates ordered uh, the 7788 as well, and yes. that will follow uh, the 7788 freighter as well. And again, we don't have exact dates for when that will enter service, but it will follow similarly in terms of timing, like the 7788 freighter. Well, it's, it's actually not a new feature in aviation. It's been done on other military type platforms. And the other piece of it to think about is these wingtips, even though they're large uh, folds, um, there are no uh, control surfaces outboard of the, um, outboard of the fold. So it's not, uh, it's a very mechanical and not a high technology or a high risk in terms of uh, the mechanics involved. So it's in fact a very simple technology and we've worked through it and we continue to work through it uh, as far as how it would progress through certification. You know, I think when you look at the, the market for the 777X, you're looking at airlines that operate or will operate airplanes that have, you know, a uh, hub and spoke network of some sort, but also density of demand. You know, they need 350 or more seats for the, the uh, markets that they serve, or they need to replace jets that are 350 seats or larger. And so we see the market there replacing 777 300ERs, replacing A380s, and even some 747s that remain in the market. So we definitely look at more customers to join the launch customer base that we already have. I am not one to predict the future in terms of exactly which airlines would offer it, and I'm not one to ever say never about uh, an LCC operating a 777X, but I would say we would first see successful operators in the 787 space, and then if we see even more density of demand in really high population markets, that would be where we'd see the opportunity for a business model like that to work. But I think uh, we first need to see success in the smaller wide bodies, for sure.